My name is Russell Peacock. I'm a stained glass artist. I've been creating stained glass windows for the last 44 years. When somebody wants a stained glass window, they'll give me a phone call and we'll sit down and discuss what they want. I get ideas of what style they want, what colors they want, and then I do a bunch of what they call cartoons or drawings. We have the people come in and we sit down and go over all of the design ideas. When they find the ones that they want, then we'll draw a full-size pattern. After we draw the full-size pattern, they come back in and we sit down and we go over colors and where we're gonna put each color or texture of glass, depending upon what they want to emphasize. If it's an all-clear window, we usually do several different textures of glass. If it's a colored window, we use different colors of stained glass. It's fun to, to try and get into their minds and see exactly what they want and then come up with my idea of their vision of what they want. Some are more difficult than others. Sometimes the customer doesn't know what they want. They always say, I don't know what I want, but when I see it, I'll know. And some of them come in and they're going, Russ, just whatever you would like to build us. And sometimes they come in and they go, I want a floral window with tulips and daisies. And so we just, we take all the information that we can glean from them and incorporate it and make their, their own individual stained glass window. The big difference in working with stained glass windows versus a watercolor and oil painting is that we're limited to what the glass has. We, we can take different parts of our glass and some might be a, a, a little bit darker color in the opals or something like that. So we'll use that for the shadow part versus a little bit lighter for the highlight parts. Ours is always right out of, out of the sheet of glass and we may cut from all four corners of the sheet of glass or right out of the middle just to get that specific piece of glass. Whereas if I'm watercoloring or doing an oil painting, I can always just add a little bit more color to it, a little bit darker color, a little bit more to get a little shading. And it's just a little, a little bit more difficult with stained glass, but it's, it's a very rewarding and challenging uh, experience to come up with exactly the right shading or the right brightness or, or highlight or whatever. It's, it's, it's fun, it's just fun. It's a, it's a whole different art medium than normal. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. This is where we create everything. We've got a couple projects we're working on right now. We've already got orders for Santa Claus for next December. Uh, we've got a project here. We've got an old window that's 130 years old. We're going to be remaking the people brought in. We've got boxes of bevels and pieces of glass and sheets of glass little bit of everything. Not only do we have our stained glass projects, but we've got some old lamps that we're going to be working on and just everything. I love to create and design and we've got furniture that we do. Just a variety of things. Never stop. So this is a, what we call a cartoon or a pattern that we're doing for one of our projects. Each one of these segments is a different piece of glass. In this case, we've got uh, three different types of grays, white, two different types of whites that we'll be using in this window. So everywhere that there's a line, that's, that's dividing a piece of glass. Now, when we foil it, we'll wrap a piece of foil around each piece. If we was using lead, we'd take and put a piece of lead in here and stick a piece of glass. We'll go into the channel like this. And then you'd put another piece of lead into here, and then you just solder that joint. Whereas the foil, each piece is wrapped, and you, and you solder the whole, the whole thing. After we've designed the pattern, we'll make multiple copies of it. The stuff that you can't see through, we take and cut out individual pieces, and then we lay those down on a piece of glass.
Okay, we're just finishing putting the polish on this. And this is, uh, this is what we've been working on.